Flavors that just taste like summer. And Cox East is from Kroger is making our mouths water with her key lime coconut cake and key lime squares. That's so right. two for one. And as we were talking uh, before the show, when we think summer and desserts, one of the ones that pops in our mind immediately, key it's lime. Key lime, yes. Uh -huh. a, a lot of people like to order that at restaurants. And this, these are relatively easy recipes, particularly okay. the squares that we're going to make. I'm starting out with a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And I did use the fat free. Um, All right, and you didn't really tell a difference no, in using no, the fat free we, on this. We've got four egg yolks, which are going to hold the filling together. Okay. So we're in good shape with that, but 14 ounces of uh, sweetened condensed milk, four egg yolks. Okay. I'm going to let you kind of start mixing that up. With okay, that wire we'll do whip. that. Yep. It, it doesn't take very long to make this recipe. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, while you're doing that, pour in a half a cup of key lime juice. Okay. And um, finally, we're going to add our zest. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a plain, I don't know, a micro zest plain. I don't know if people have this or not, yeah. but you can uh, use limes or lemons or oranges to get the zest. And this is what it looks like. It's just, it's just the top layer of the skin of the lime or lemon or whatever you happen to be using. Okay. And that adds a little bit more flavor, intense flavor. And the, the thing about key limes, this is what they look like. They're much smaller than mm. the regular limes. They have a more intense flavor. Mm-hmm. So and more they, intense. More okay. intense flavor, and they usually cost more. Okay. Okay, so this this is the difference. And if you can if you don't want to um, squeeze the juice from these little limes, you can buy that at the store, and that's what I use most of the time. Except now, is this a like concentrate and easy to find? Yes, it is. It's on the shelf, and it's different than the regular lime juice. Uh, like I said, the key limes are more intense, so this is a key lime juice. The other uh, bottles most of the time just say lime juice, so there is a difference. There okay? is a difference, okay. okay, and if you want to pucker up, get yeah, this. That's right, <laughs> but now uh, this is not a terribly intense flavor like it could be. The cake is the milder of the two recipes, okay. but it depends on which preference you have, but you want to mix that up really, really good, and what I'm going to do is put does the other go on top then that we the other little item that I see there? Well, yes, after after it's done, then you can sprinkle some extra crumbs on top if you want to, or put some whipping cream or just a slice of key lime. Okay. Now this is my crust, and I use ginger snap crumbs this time. I could have used uh, graham cracker or vanilla wafer, whichever, but this is a little bit different and it's got some butter in it, and you, you I put these um, um, ginger snaps in the food processor and made them very, very fine crumbs, and I mixed it with butter and pressed it into my pan. This is an 8-inch square pan. Okay. Now, you can also use a glass casserole. If you use these dark baking pans, either reduce your temperature 10 or 15 degrees or cook the, uh, reduce your cooking time at least 5 minutes. But this will cook at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. You just want to make sure that it's set, and it sets up pretty quickly. So okay. you can pour that in there. All right, so that's our uh, square. Squares, so that's as, right. as I do this, go ahead and start talking, uh, telling me about the cake. Okay. The cake uh, starts out with a yellow cake mix, and um, it has um, some sour cream in it. It's got um, key lime juice. It's got some zest and some eggs in it. And mm -hmm. uh, this is just basically a three-layer cake, okay. which uh, a lot of times when I'm frosting the cake, I'll go ahead and make the layers up and freeze them before I frost them because it, the, the cake doesn't crumb as much. But the reason, uh, other than the fact that we all like key lime at this time of the year, is Today is June 1st, and it's June Dairy Month. That's right, yeah. So I picked some recipes that had a lot of dairy products in them. So I've used sour cream, I've used whipping cream, butter, and cream cheese. And this frosting has butter and cream cheese and powdered sugar, and then it's got a little bit of the key lime juice in it, too. And uh, Meryl made a recipe similar to this, and she liked the coconut. So I put coconut on top of each layer as well as the top. But that's optional. That's optional. The first time I made it, I didn't do that, and my family liked it really good without the coconut. So it depends on your family's okay. preferences whether you use it or not. But this is something that you can make and freeze. The squares, I would not do that, but the cake worked great to freeze. All right, fantastic. Okay. And as a dairy farmer down there in Wilson County, got to make sure that everybody knows that this is June, June is Dairy That's Month. Right. You'll find these recipes on the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. Uh, and as a 4-H or 2, got to get into that plug for thank that, you. June. Yes, but, yes, but thank you so very, very much. <laughs>